Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. And in this video, we are going to take a look at the Pixel OS Android 16. Now, this is based on the Android 16 QPR1 tag, so we get some new UI design throughout the system. So, without wasting any more time, let's take a look at it straight away. So, guys, this is Pixel OS Android 16 based, and as you can see, it's based on the new QPR1 tag with uh, all the new Android 16 uh, UI, which actually clarifies that this is Android 16 and differs it from Android 15 like the first beta builds and canary builds from Android 16 were such a you know basic update over the 15 but now we have something more the Android QPR tag which is the QPR 3 is also been released but we are going to see a lot more the QPR 2 QPR 3 builds we are going to be it's on its way so we're gonna review them too so if you want to watch those you know if you want to try out that newer tags you can subscribe to the channel now first go into settings going down about phone uh, here we can take a look at android version you can see android 16 we have a uh, 1 november 2025 security patch and you can see the build date it's around uh, 14th of december so this is the latest pixel os build for the nothing phone one so guys, let's start with the system. We're going to explore the system, then check out the settings. So the first thing we're going to check is ambient wake. As you can see, you have a nice uh, ambient display. You have this clock. Then you can use your fingerprint or tap to see the lock screen or easily use the fingerprint on ambient to unlock the device. So this is the clock style. You have a lot of clock styles, which you are going to explore. Let's open the fingerprint or uh, open, unlock the device. And you can see at the top, you have at a glance, which you cannot disable, but you can disable the extra information it can show like the weather like we have the weather widget so i have disabled the weather that looks minimal but this is how you you know show that this is a pixel device with a pixel widget so this is the clock widget uh not the clock widget basically it's the weather widget and this is the gemini widget the app dog then the google search bar and you can see the app drawer uh there's this new transparent uh, tray which resembles the app drawer and at the top we have the pill and all the Google basic pixel apps have been pre-installed so there's no issues uh, regarding any extra apps that you want to install. You can easily install from Google and other apps which you use for your personal usage. Then we have the new quick settings. You can see nice design and the font also looks really nice on the quick settings. You can also edit here and into editing you have a lot of functions we have. You can see you can add those icons and they are well categorized in uh, various forms of uh, you know usability you can choose between connectivity and other utilities too and we have here the google feed at the left and when you long press uh, this we have your app settings sorry your launches settings your home settings you can see you can configure them and these are the pixel uh, basic pixel options which we get in the official pixel devices wallpapers and style you have these windows and you can see this there's some ui changes done throughout this app which makes it more beautiful and more comfortable to use and you can see i love this animation so this google is improving something you know something or something like that and uh, you can choose this emoji wallpaper which i really loved uh, you can see you can click on here you can add new uh, wallpaper you can edit your own emojis and you can just add randomly any emoji and it will create a wallpaper out of it you can add patterns and you can disable the like sorry decrease and increase the sizes then you have colors to choose from you can choose various colors according to your liking some are vibrant some are dark but you can choose uh, any wallpapers easily set them as your home screen or lock screen uh, like i have already made this this is a random generated wallpaper can also randomly generate wallpapers which also help you you know easily choose new wallpapers every time then we have colors con color contrast icons you can change between icons you have themed icons like it will make you your device the home screen you know all these icons themed your know, the app draw icons will remain same so that's not nothing to worry about now in the clock style uh, we have clock uh, fonts which you can choose from all the pixel clock fonts are available this is the basic one uh, this is the one uh, which is mostly used this is also the clock i really love this doodle clock and you can also choose from various colors which will suit the wallpaper behind 
I'm choosing this. And we also have size small and large size. Small will be at the top left and large will be in the middle. So you can choose accordingly. We also do get the new Material 3 design status bar as you can see the network icons, Wi-Fi icon looks really really nice with the new design. Now Pixel OS is based on Lineage OS so we get a lot of familiar settings. Moving into settings you can see the settings UI looks really nice all the color icons. At the top we have Google account which you can easily configure check activity from uh, network and internet. Just some basic stuff connected devices. You have your connected devices. We also have Glyph interface, so you have a lot of stuff. You can control brightness. You have music visualizer, which you can already, uh, you know, enable to disable everything else, and it works fine. Then we have apps. I have apps. We have apps configuration. We have notifications. You can configure notifications and do a lot more tweaking to them. We have sound and vibrations. We have uh, a lot of stuff to do. Vibration, haptics ringtones notification tone charging sounds you can enable or disable and we also do have audio will play on so you can uh, easily switch between your devices uh, which the audio will be playing from uh, then modes we have this new do not disturb merged inside this mode so you can add a lot of modes meeting modes a lot more whatever you are uh, in that current environment or situation you can choose those modes display we have a lot of uh, stuff related to display, lock screen, always on display. You can see always on fingerprint, ambient display, and you can configure all of that. We have now playing, but you cannot enable this. It will be just, okay, we have search button on the lock screen, so you can easily search, but yeah, now playing is, uh, yeah, it's working fine now playing. Like I've seen a lot of uh, ROMs in which the now playing is disabled, but this has it working, so that that's really nice. You have tap to check phone, you can show ambient, you have always on fingerprint, ambient display, but I cannot see always on display. Yeah, we have here always on display, easily outside here. And yes, it's worked fine. Works fine. Here we have uh, tap and you can easily wake up. So this is also great screen timeout, basic stuff, dark theme. We also do have pure black theme, which is a new addition to Android 16 by Google itself. So there's not much to add. Here we have all the settings, we have battery option here, you can always show and all your basic stuff from, we also have lineage uh, OS live display, uh, night light, color contrast and all that stuff, full screen apps, refresh rate and you can also choose if you want adaptive. Uh, I recommend disabling this so it will use your full 120 hertz screen always. Wallpaper and display which we have already checked, storage, backup, then we have battery. Battery is just kind of nice. I use uh, like I don't have a lot of usage right now. Most of during study time, yeah. For break, I have Instagram and WhatsApp mostly study usage. And I'm gonna give you a big graph uh, until the video has been uh, you know edited and all. I'm going to check out that graph and see how the battery is doing. Also, we have charging control, uh, which you can use if you are late night charger. If you have a schedule for charging, then you can totally a uh, very good usage of the battery to be charged in a perfect pattern uh, location password basic stuff digital well-being we have uh, so these are all the basic pixel stuff pixel goodies or you can uh, say with that ui we have uh, system settings gestures we have all these gestures navigation gesture one-handed mode uh, we have swipe to screenshot which you can easily click like this finger screenshot which is my favorite i don't like to use the volume buttons and the quick settings which is totally time wasting quick touch you can pull up the you know push the power button when the screen is off and could turn off the turn on the torch is really good for emergency usage data and time system updates you won't get system updates because this rom is unofficial but yeah if there are any updates you can locally update it i guess Oh, there's no local update I, or I don't know how to check local update in here but yeah you can easily flash it through uh, side loading by ADB so that's not an issue and that was it for the pixel UI the pixel OS for the nothing phone one the glyph is not the only thing from nothing uh, from the stock ROM which we get on this device there is also nothing OS camera now it's not fully working it's partially working so if you click normal photos using 2x all that works fine 
also wide angle works fine using portrait uh, you can use yeah you can probably click pictures and all that but if you go to video mode the screen just stops so you are unable to record anything with the video mode and this is a problem so if you are using video you have to use a gcam you can try using google camera now the nothing was camera the video recording does not work so that is an issue but other than that the rom is perfectly fine and the camera is also perfectly fine or you can also use gcam i don't have one right now but i have tested it before but i don't know why i uninstall it and yeah i don't have it right now the perfect gcam you can choose any gcam there are a lot of gcams you can use from various groups or the nothing or photography group you can do it according to your thing but i just wanted to uh, tell you guys that all these are the, all the basic stuff which are available with the pixel os and that is it the review of pixel os android 16 now this is the qpr one build with all the new uh, system options we have the new ui the material tree design expressive design that's what it is called and looks really nice beautiful the rom is total stock and it is a good replacement for nothing os and i'm totally using it uh and you have the latest stuff uh, as you can see android 16 november security patch i know it's december but yeah it's unofficial so it's fine november security just patch is fine and also we have uh, play integrity working with the latest key box which i'm using yeah it's working fine you can find it in the description if you want the key box if you already have you can use a key box uh, from developer options so first you have to go into settings uh, you need to use a valid key box for that you have to go to system i have disabled developer options because of some bank apps let me input the password now when you enable developer options you need to search for key box and you will find configure key box xml and you need to input the xml uh, which you want so you can input you have this i have this xml which works fine if you want i will give it in the link in the description or you can also use uh, your own xml or you can use it from various groups there it, you can just ask and they will just give you the xml and if you want to delete it, the previous xml you can just delete it easily so that's how you can use your banking apps and all that stuff which you can easily uh what you say uh bypass the restrictions set by google and all that so guys that is it for pixel os i hope you guys liked the video and if you did press the like button if not the dislike button is there and leave your comments in the feedback in the comment section and subscribe to the channel if you want to watch more videos on the nothing phone one and i'll see you guys soon with another video on the nothing phone one till then bye bye take care and see you soon